please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Well, Judge Dial's numbers uh, uh, were better simply because the margins improved in third quarter and other expenses decreased. Revenue growth was still muted uh, if looked at it on a sequential basis. Abhishek Bansal, CFO Judge Dial, is joining in with more details. Well, <clears throat> Abhishek, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Margins, uh, a big highlight in third quarter. Uh, what explained that performance and what's the outlook on margins? This particular quarter saw healthy EBITDA growth. So we had about 80% year-on-year EBITDA growth. Uh, employee benefit expense, which is our uh, biggest cost item, last year, full year was about 440 crores. Uh, this particular line item should ideally have grown at, say, 8-9% in line with inflation trends. But uh, with automation efforts, etc., we have been able to curtail that and we should close the year at a... Uh, reasonably lower amount uh, compared to last full year. Uh, other expenses, again, we have been able to optimize a lot on other expenses. So this year, uh, during the first three quarters, we have deliver delivered 120 crores of EBITDA versus 110 crores for last full year. And this is despite 45 crores of additional advertising spend. In terms of uh, outlook, as I see, uh, the blended about 20 to 23% adjusted EBITDA margin for first three quarters. I think we should be able to sustain that going forward even at current uh, revenue growth levels. If revenue growth were to accelerate, I think operating leverage should help in expanding margins further. So your revenue growth is a function of realizations and your campaigns as well. Uh, what's the outlook as far as campaign growth is concerned given that the realizations have been pretty steady? See, revenue growth, which was about 9.2% year-on-year this quarter, was highest in last uh, about 4-5 uh, quarters. So as you pointed out, that revenue growth is a function of campaigns as well as realizations. Realizations which were on a structural decline due to growing uh, penetration in Tier 2, Tier 3 cities, we have been able to pull realizations back. So this quarter saw 5-6% year-on-year growth in realizations. Uh, ideally, for a company, yes, both campaigns and realization should grow, but considering we have focused on consolidating our business, getting efficiencies and productivity back over the last 3-4 uh, quarters, which is playing out, so far realizations has actually helped uh, revenue growth. Going forward, uh, based on whatever steps that we are taking, I think campaigns should also grow. Okay, by the way, just take a look at ADAG names. All of a sudden, there's a big surge happening in the stock, led by uh, Reliance Naval. That stock is up about 5% Reliance Capital, Reliance Infra, Reliance Power, and there's big buying in Reliance Communications as well. So, big move right now uh, happening in the ADAG uh, uh, pack. Uh, so, uh, let's see how that one turns out. Uh, but Abhishek, uh, good morning. W what's the outlook on sustainability of price hikes? See, when we launched our advertising campaign, we took uh, price hikes on some of our entry-level products. So last three quarters, we have seen that those particular price hikes we have been able to sustain. But obviously, price hikes can be taken only to a certain uh, level. So far, they have been sustainable. Going forward, as we expand uh, our particular sales teams, etc., and uh, focus on uh, pe penetrating more into Tier 2, Tier 3 cities, it should result into higher signups. So a combination of uh, more signups and uh, realizations both should uh, help boost revenues. Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, you know, JD Omni was one of the key uh, monitorables for the company. Can you give us uh, more updates on this product? As part of JD Omni, we realized that SMEs valued having a good-looking a mobile friendly transaction enabled website for their business so we have brought in capabilities where we can create websites for smes in a matter of uh, just few hours itself so as part of omni it's the websites that we are providing to these smes uh, websites could be sold as a standalone or a bundled product so those websites are seeing good traction can you throw some color on the spends that you will be making for advertising and the outlook on the same? Because, you know, the environment has become so competitive now. See, first three quarters, we spent about 55-odd crores on advertising. Uh, as a business, we are clear that this particular business needs a sustained level of advertising in this particular digital era to uh, stay in users' minds. 
we do intend to spend about say uh, eight nine percent of our top line into advertising so could be anywhere between say 80 85 crores every quarter we keep analyzing uh, what portion of our advertising spend should go into digital versus non-digital mediums uh, whatever gives uh, be best return on investment uh, that is how we try to optimize our ad spends okay in the past there have been some reports you have denied them of course uh, but uh, you know about google and few other companies looking to acquire or invest in just dial uh, any any clarifications on that see uh, it is difficult to comment on any such market rumors so such news keeps surfacing uh, from uh, time to time as a business as uh, we continue to focus on growing usage of our product uh, healthily growing our particular cash reserves which stand at about 1085 crores uh, we do keep interacting with uh, uh, several large corporates as part of our regular business uh, uh, tie ups in case there is any strategic tie up uh, and there are uh, discussions worth disclosing we would be the first ones to uh, report